Hi, my name is Ron Lehman. I'm from the Faux School in Frederick, Maryland. And today I'm going to show you a technique using the Toscano acrylic Venetian plaster using a two tone gold layered plaster technique with pearl metallic wax. So let's get our tools, let's get our materials, and let's get started. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do for this is I've base coated the surface with the quartz primer, the interior, exterior, water-based primer, proprietary to lime plasters, tints with pigments and never paint. Pigments are a highly concentrated colorant. Paint is not. Paint will destroy the product. However, I'm working with Toscano plaster today, so that means I can use any kind of flat primer out there. Flat paint, flat primer, as long as it's flat. Roll it on with a ro low nap roller, because you don't want a lot of texture left, or a lot of roller nap. That'll telegraph through. But this is more of a decorative fun finish, so it doesn't have to be too perfect. In fact, if you have like the, uh, what do you call it? The sprayed on texture, there's or I call them orange peel up here. Uh, you can find it a lot in California, Texas, Arizona, Florida. That little stipple texture they spray on the wall. That looks really cool poking through these ty this type of finish. Um, and some colors that I'm just going to whip up and I'll put them in the rest of, down in the comment section below. So let's get started. High quality stainless steel trowel, high quality stainless steel spatula. Pretty simple. Now we're going to start with our dark gold. Basically, I have some colors left over from a board I made the other day, and I don't want to waste it, so I'm going to play around and reverse the colors, and let's have and see what we get. So I'm going to take this dark gold Venetian, put it on my trowel, like so, and 100% coverage, ceiling line, come out from the adjacent wall, and skim it out. Now the scratching sound you hear, that's from that plastic, the primer. Because that stuff, that primer is hard as a rock. This stuff is fantastic. Meaning it's just exactly what you want. It's not rubbery, it's not plastic. So we're going to do 100% coverage, let it dry 100%, and we're going to move on. little bit more in that corner. So acrylic, remember this plaster, the Toscano, will dry 30 to 40 percent lighter depending on the colors we use. That's it. Let it dry 100 percent and it's acrylic. You have to let it dry 100 percent before you do your next coat or else the next coat will peel this off the wall and you have a mess. So I will see you after this dries. All right, first coat's dried. Let's go. Moving forward. So clean the trowel. Same trial, keep it dry, it's not very dry at the moment. And I'm going to grab this light gold we used the other day. And I'm going to put a tight skim coat of that on this plaster. So, let's see what happens. Basically, so I did a board just like this. Same colors, I'm just going to reverse the colors. I am pulling this really tight. I want a thin, thin coat of this. Okay. Let's let it dry. Come back and put on the wax. So I'll see you after it dries. It's dry, so let's get the trowel out and burnish. Burnish the plaster. Compressing the plaster using a light pressure. When the plaster is in a humid state, not too wet, not too dry. If it's too dry, you're going to get dark spots all over it because you're going to leave use so much pressure you're going to carbon from your trial is going to just skip across the plaster and leave a mess. If it's too wet, well it's too wet, nothing's going to happen except you're just going to move the plaster from one spot to the other and you're not going to like it at all. Now here's the thing, if you like the plaster the way it looks at this step, you could totally leave it. You don't have to wax it, you don't have to put a tinted wax over it. So this is what it looks like, El Natural. Nice, soft, subtle finish. So you're the one in charge of doing your walls. You have the option to do whatever you want to do. So I was like, what you have leftover material, make a bunch of boards because 
met multiple combinations, similar, same materials, you can do whatever you want to do. Then you have a bunch of boards. You know, if you're going to make a mess, might as well just make a big mess. <laughs> you got to clean a mess up, so take the time, make a bunch, clean up the bigger mess. Okay, let's put a coat of clear wax on this. Clean my trowel on a rag. The clear wax is the Italian polishing wax interior or exterior. Cleans up with soap and water. Comes in a variety of tinted colors, ready mix from the factory. So we're going to trial it on. It's going to richen it up. As it richens it up, it brings those two colors a little closer together. See the difference? I hope you can see the difference. It's a little more muted up here now, where this is a little bit more pronounced, where the two colors are a little bit more separated from each other. hundred percent coverage. I kind of like this one just the way it is. I don't think I'm going to even put any walnut. I, was, I had some walnut wax open from the other board. I don't think I'm going to use it. I like this. I really like this. Lint-free, color-free rag. Lint-free because we don't want any lint to get stuck in the wax. Color because we don't want any color to get pulled into the wax from the wax. Let's go over here and polish this puppy up. Oh. Yeah, I had. Mm, I like it. I'm not going to do anything else to it. This is going to be the finished product. It's a pretty color combination. Okay, table. I said it before. I've got to get another table. This one's had better days. I'm not going to get rid of it. Just going to put it to repurpose it somewhere else in the building. Just too noisy for this. So let's see what we got. Okay. There's the sample. See the, just the light variation in color? Look at the shine. Isn't that cool? It's a pretty board. See, that's why you just play around and make things and just play and make things in your studio or in your garage, or in your basement, or wherever. You know, if you're going to make something, just make one. And whatever's left over, play around with it, because you might just come up with something you really like. And it's a perfectly good, marketable finish. This would be a great dining room. I could even see this with a pearl wax over it. Oh, I shouldn't pull the tape off yet. Yes, I'm going to get the pearl wax, I'll be back. I went and got the pearl wax and I touched up my tape. Let's see what it looks like. Should just be enough to make it just some fun punch. Okay, 100% cover is going to trial it all over the thing. See what we get. Okay. There we go. Back to that lint free, color free rag. Where'd she go? Got a couple of them laying around. Let's get in here. Polish it up. Let's get this tape off. Come on. Did too good of a job putting the tape on. Didn't leave anything for me to grab onto. Oh, come on. Earlier the tape came right off. Now she doesn't want to come off at all.
be gone on tape. All right. Here we go. <laughs> I hate it when I get tape stuck to my fingertips. It drives me crazy. All right, let's see what we got. Can you see the little hints of silver? Or I'm sorry, pearl. Just, just ever so slightly dancing across the surface. Yeah. Look. That's it. Cool. That's really it. My name's Ron Lehman. I'm from the Faux School. If you get a chance, go to the website, find out more information about classes, products, commission me to do your home, business, whatever you may have. And uh, that's it. If you have any questions, drop a comment in the section below. I'd really appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up and even subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.